Hey, I'm Sophia. And I'm Sanjana. And we're, and we're the, the SS, SS Science. Science. Get ready to sail with us through, through a sea of scientific, scientific knowledge. knowledge. Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about the visible light spectrum using lasers. What you'll need for this experiment are two erasers from a chalkboard covered in dust. <laughs> two erasers from a chalkboard covered in dust. Um, and a laser. Alright, so first what you want to do in this experiment is shine your laser at a plain wall. If you look carefully, you should see that you can't actually see the laser beam itself. You can only see it as it reflects uh, on the wall. Now what you want to do is you want to get your two erasers and you want to slam them together. And then shine your beam through and then voila! You can see the entirety of your laser. That was a really cool experiment, but how come we didn't see the beam at first? Well, you see, with light, you can only see it once it reflects off of something. Uh, so when we turned the laser beam on and just pointed at the wall, it only reflected off the wall, which is why we didn't see it. I see. So how come we were able to see the beam after we smacked the chalk erasers together? Well, like I said earlier, we can only see light once it's reflecting off of something. Once we smashed the erasers together, chalk particles went everywhere, and the light from our laser beam reflected off of those chalk particles. Oh, is that why I can see the actual high beams of the car when it's raining? Yes, the concept of light being scattered um, once it reflects off of something is called the Tyndall effect. Um, light travels in straight lines, and, but when there are particles like dust, fog, or rain that gets in the way, the light reflects off of those particles, um, which scatters the light and lets us see it. Is that why they tell us not to turn the high beam on when it's foggy, because then the light would reflect off of everything and we just see light everywhere? Exactly. Got it. So moving on a little bit from the immediate scope of this experiment, what's the visible light spectrum? That's a great question. Well, light is electromagnetic radiation, which comes in all sorts of wavelengths. However, we can only see a certain uh, percentage of these wavelengths, and we refer to that as the visible light spectrum. So what's the shortest and longest wavelength of things that we can see? Oh yes, so the shortest wavelength we can see is purple, and the longest would be red. So if you just said that the light all around us is made up of different wavelengths, which we perceive as different colors, how come we don't see those colors around us right now? Well, that's because we're seeing it as white light, which is a mixture of all those colors and is invisible to the human eye. We can separate these colors, however, using a color prism. How does that work? Well, going back to what we said before about the visible light spectrum being made up of different wavelengths, um, using one of these prisms, it separates each individual wavelength because each wavelength refracts at a different angle, which separates them. So we can see each individual one as its independent color. Uh, thanks so much. I hope you learned something. And I hope you learned something too. Sure. Thank you for voyaging with us on the SS Science. We hope you had fun learning. <laughs>